morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a pretty rare E60 to be featured to all of you. The model I'm going to feature is the 2005 BMW E60 545i. So this is the last V8 NA it's been used in BMW. Because in the newer generation BMW, BMW started to use the turbocharged engine and also with the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. So this is essentially the last V8 model which is naturally aspirated. So without further ado, let's jump to the engine bay. You locate the latch underneath the BMW badge to be able to pop up the hood. So under the bonnet of the 545i, it's BMW's N62 4.4 liter V8 naturally aspirated engine, which generates 329 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. There is also the lower variant of the BMW 540i, which is uses the N62 code engine, but with a 4.0 liter setup. The 540i generates 302 horsepower and 390 newton meters of torque. There is also a more high performance V8 engine which is the 4.8 liter V8 which is also naturally aspirated is from the 550i which generates 362 horsepower and 490 newton meters of torque. Okay so let's begin the exterior tour. So let's start from the headlights. Let me switch out the headlight first. Okay so the owner have switched to the US spec of the E60. So basically the whole exterior is based on the US version of the E60 and this is also the M5 body kit, it's not the original 5455 body kit. But in my opinion the M5 body kit looks well in this 545i. So as you can see you get the first generation BMW engine light but it's finished in LED instead of the yellow light as you found in the regular E60 model. So the signal light is still in bulb type and this is the headlight washer, front parking sensors and this is the M5 bumper. You get the air duct system. So the E60 is designed by Chris Bangle, so as you can see, it looks pretty modern. At the same time, pretty handsome. And the kidney grille of the E60 545i is finished in chrome instead of gloss black. To be honest, I really love the E60 front look. So one more look from the front. So the, the, the owner of this 5455i is fully convert the 545i to the M5 exterior. So you get a set of 19 inch, this is, this is the rim as you found in the E60 M5. So the tire of this 545i is measured in 255 for the ZR19. It's a high speed performance tire and you get a 6 port Brembo and a big disc rotor and owner have switched this side vent to the M5 ones but it looks good nonetheless so this is the side profile of the 545i typical luxury executive sedan back then the rear tire because this is the rear wheel drive vehicle so the rear tire is wider than the front it's measured in 295 285 35ZR19 and as you can see from the rear of the 545i, as you can see, you, you get a rather wide body design as compared to the front, which I really love it. And the tail lights are also convert to the US spec E60. So as you can see, the signal light is in red instead of orange. So the rear bumper are also carried over from the M5. So the rear is identical to the E60. BMW 5 Series, just that the owner have converted to the M5 bumper with a pretty aggressive diffuser and also quad exhaust pipe. They are actually real, they are not fake. So this is the 545i badge. So basically the whole exterior is, is already M5 convert except the badge. So if you remove this badge, other people would think that this is the M5 but it's the rare 545i. There are not many units in Malaysia 
and this is the ducktail spoiler and I think this is the one of the best condition E60 out there with this rather clean paint job and this 90 inch rim which makes the car look very handsome together with those LED angel light so let's check out the interior so here's the key for of the 505i it's the same key as you found in the BMW M5 so the door as I mentioned in my previous 2005 BMW M5 video the door handle is opening upward like those in the Audis so as for the 505i you get the beige leather seat and for the armrest here as well and it's wrapped in full leather finish and it's pretty plush as well and up here it's wrapped in soft touch material so down here you get electronic adjustable seat for both front seat so this is to adjust the seat position seat height and this is to adjust the seat back so this is your power lumbar support so additional for the driver seat you get two sets of memory and you get BMW door seals and some storage space at the side so it's quite hot right now so I might need to start the car so let you hear the V8 roar pretty nice V8 startup sound so let's close the door so for the 545i because this is a luxury executive sedan so you get some wood finish with combination of black and beige so for the M5 you get the silver panel together with black finishing and also the M buggy seat but as for the 545i as a daily driver's car the seats are relatively comfortable and the seat base is long so it supports my whole tie and you get a foot rest right there so down here you get the storage space to pop open the boot the lever to pop open the hood so right here is your headlight control you get automatic headlights this is to switch on your front and rear fog light this is your meter illumination so one more the owner have done to the interior is owner has switched the rather normal 505i steering wheel to the m sport steering so with those m stitching right here so in my opinion this is one of the best steering wheel in bmws pretty nice design and pretty thick as well and also nice to grip and as for the meter owner has also convert to the m5 meter so as you can see it's it's in miles miles per hour and also kilometer per hour and down here is your fuel gauge this is the M logo this is your engine temperature this is your multi information display let's move into the center console area so this 545i does get BMW first generation iDrive system which control via this pretty high quality aluminium finish knob right here instead of those plastic in the F generation BMWs so it's pretty simple to use so now I'm in the radio setting so I can just twist this knob to cycle between the frequency that I want for the radio station and right here is the car information your range your average speed and your average fuel consumption so you get a pretty nice dashboard design and it's finished in soft touch materials and also a speaker up there so this is your hazard light this is your central locking so this car does come with a three zone climb controls two at the front one at the back which I will show you later and this is to adjust your temperature this is your automatic mode air conditioning recirculation this is your fan speed and a pretty traditional CD slot right here and down here you get the heater seat and also ventilator seat and the center layout of this 505i is also finished in wood trim together with beige and this car does equip with a 6-speed automatic transmission it's not the 6-speed SMG so you get the rather conventional gear knob design it's not those electronic shifter as you found in any other BMWs so to switch into manual just pull to the left down for upshift up for downshift 
You can also use the pedal shifter Pretty chunky pedal shifter And this is your gear position And it does get a mechanical handbrake I'm glad that BMW used the mechanical handbrake for the 545i So right here you get the central armrest You press this button to pop open the armrest So right here you get the pretty old school phone holder And a rather shallow storage space There's no way you can put your cup So what BMW do to solve this problem they actually designed the cup holders at the passenger side dashboard So you press this button to pop open two cup holders This for the driver, that for the passenger And I really like this wood trim, it's those polished material And down here you get the glove box, it dip down slowly and it's also covered with felt Pretty high quality back then so this car does come with the sunroof but it's not panoramic So you open this cover right here and you pull this So you can enjoy the cool air when you are driving this car up to Genting So right here you get your dimming light And the sun visor together with a vanity mirror and a light and this part is wrapped in pretty high quality felt material It's not the plastic So it's, I appreciate this part Pretty soft as well And you get a grip handle For the driver's side So overall the interior cabin I would say is the most Best condition E60 out there Given that this is the rare 545i So owner took a good care of this car So I appreciate it and overall, it's solidly built as well Even though this car is came out in 2005 It's been 15 years on the market And as you can see the rear, you get the rear sun shade So this is type of car that you can play with At the same time, you can fetch your family going for a road trip This is a pretty perfect all-rounder luxury executive sedan so now let's check out the rear seat So the door at the rear open in a decent angle so it does it an easy access inside the car So right here you get the cigarette holder or storage space depending what you use it for and a storage space right here and inside is covered with felt pretty high quality and mindful with details and this is the rear seat of the 5 series It's pretty it's, oh, it's pretty comfortable when you look at it So now let's set in seat, let's sit inside So let's close the door Oh, pretty solid So even though this car does not come with the rear sun shade But it does come with the rear windshield sun shade So it's, perfect, it's perfectly fine because the owner have tinted the car so it does not feel pretty hot when you're sitting at the rear So the front seat I have adjusted to a bit forward So I give this much of leg room And this much in terms of headroom So it's actually not bad sitting at the rear given that this is the Luxury sedan so It does not compromise of the interior space And as you can see you get seat pocket with It's leather type it's not those Net type as you found in other German cars, so this is why I appreciate it. With and get this wood trim door handle, and it's pretty solid as well. So, as you open this, it reveals the central armrest, and when you open it, it reveals a rather shallow storage space. You can actually put your phone inside, and there are no any charging port, but it's totally fine for a 2005 vehicle. And it's quite comfortable to rest your hand because this part is wrapped in leather And you can access to the boot by opening this divider right here So you get 3 individual headrests even though this is pretty hard It's suitable for temporary use 
for the middle and the center tunnel of this car is rather tall given that this is the rear wheel drive vehicle and you get the rear interior light quite a good feature and as I mentioned the rear you get single zone climate control this is to control your fan speed this is to control your temperature and for the rear there are no any USB port and this is the cover it's finished in wood so overall the interior of this car is pretty high quality at the same time pretty classy because you get a combination of wood and beige so this is basically a pretty typical luxury family sedan so let's get to the boot so you touch the touch pad underneath the BMW badge and it's a counterweight so as you pop open the boot the boot will automatically goes up itself it's using this bar right here it counterweights the boot so sorry for the messy boot and it's rather big as well consider this is the luxury family sedan and it, you can actually fold the rear seat it's 60-40 split so take a listen of the quad exhaust pipe for the V8 engine pretty nice roaring sound so one more look from the rear Pretty nice looking and pretty clean. So yeah, this is my walk around video of this 2005 BMW 545i. So be sure to subscribe my channel, like and share my video if you like my walk around series. You can also check my 2005 BMW M5 video in my channel. So I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.